Gentlemen, let's do this. Line. A chat professional contest. Long right jab to the body wasn't too far away from Usyk. Then again, such a twinkle-toed individual for a man who possesses such heavy hands. Sequence. What a magnificent time to get. This is proving to be. Both men look to invest early on in body shots. Marco Hook. Oh, Hook's corner team were up on the ring apron. That's the trans with a good left hand to the body. Point forward. But it's a two phase attack once again. Deep into this opening round. Both men showing flashes of the tactics that they want. Hook. Far less activity. Again, Ronda telegraphing that right hand. Couldn't find the range, but nor did Usyk make him pay. Alexander Usyk fairly swaggered back to his, and he's elected to stand in between rounds while Marco Hook takes his seat on the bench. Let's listen on. So to the second round, we had listed champions in particular who have gone on to make a significant impact in the professional ranks. Vasil Lomachenko is compatible pound for pound list, the mythical pound for pound list. Robert Bird said that anything on the waistband of those trunks is good. Neither have been in the professional ranks. Nicola Adams and Katie Taylor already making their mark in the pros as well. And of course, who can forget and this year in front of 90,000 at Wembley Stadium. Usyk onto the front of Marco Hook. Hook making that one fall short. That's a rather that put Christoph Vladici on the floor. This is Christoph Glavatsky on the floor for the first time in 14th successful defence of his WBA. Put on the floor for the first time in his career. The second time really heavily as he works a heavy leather. Usyk grins his gun shield contemptuously, gets his box back towards the ropes and begins to score with an effective start for left. Action heating in this round and the bell bit. At the quickening of action towards the concluding stages of that second round. Pin hooked to the ropes. Hook demonstrating good defensive ability. So round three of the schedule 12 is what these boxers are working towards in this. Here, the equation is quite simple. Win and you progress. Counter right hand wasn't too far away from Hook. And he comes forward, remaining composed under fire. Back to the space of center ring and looking to set up his shots with that poking ramrod. And with constant instruction from the right, from my right here at ringside for the red corner. He knows what he needs to do up there in the boxing ring but the reminders constant and again Usyk continuing to move wonderfully just tempting and teasing with it before getting continuing to contract and expand the ring as he likes he was on the ropes there and took a hard right hand to the body remember came together at the press conference as Usyk gets back onto the front foot scores with the left brings a round of applause from his vocal support here the single phase attack but short to the mark and now beginning to bring up a crush through the middle hook made okay as if to let that see pit, how'd you like that? A really effective forward for a... Turn to the former middleweight tournament. Here, our focus is on the cruiserweights. Impressive fashion. And Christoph. USA. And here he is. And remember, it was the lead left hook that he used to put Glavatsky on the floor here is being counted immediately you can see the face of hook just beginning to redden from energy levels remaining very good indeed continuing to work over his man as he gets through the left uppercut and right hook out of that stuff it has plenty of pop on it does that punch but it was blocked easily that's a wonderful left hand to the body from Usyk back punching but he's back in the gum shield in that maniacal hard left hand has caused hook to become just a little bit disorganized downstairs and upstairs from alexander Usyk. his man 40 seconds to go in the fourth round and we are seeing some terrific miles on the clock but remember the 40 feet on his, re on his record have all come at world championship hook Alexander Rusik exploited it and he started the fifth round quickly immediately onto the front foot by the man who resides here in Berlin but again it's Rusik in Beijing four years prior to that hard right hand to the body landed by Hook but again look at that for a spearing right fighting off the road now Usyk 
good right hand lands from Hook and the showboating in evidence from Alexander Usyk saying he's in exaggerated fashion and then got immediately back onto the front foot step back into the final of the World Boxing Super Series the trophy bearing the name of the greatest of all times Muhammad Ali, the, the idea of the concept and that is why this trophy bears his name as Hook walks his way forwards and scores with some straight punches but back three Robert Bird to intervene but in fairness, Robert Bird hasn't had much to do in this contest he's being fought at a terrific pace and he's a terrific Round we go. Thankfully, no harm done. And Usyk just betraying some frustration there, with the, even though he appears to be in punching range, peering between his gloves. Not the brisk start to this six round. A little bit of patience, and of course, in a 12 round contest, Usyk. Usyk now coming forward, three shot combination. Back comes Hook with the same salvo. Hard right hand to the body, and Usyk comes again. Usyk, bobbing, weaving, working his way inside. Experience the deeper we go into this contest. Driven across the ring, finally by a left cross once again from Usyk. And again, he stands stock still, looking to launch his count. Seconds of round number six. Hook, plodding forward from the front foot now. He walks Usyk, he walks Hook back towards the ropes. Contention, the only inaugural Muhammad Ali trophy. As he's hit once again, walking down his man, hook fires a speculative right cross, but his shots not finding the range. Halfway through the seventh round. And hook, such a four defeats, only two of them have come inside the distance. As Usyk gets onto the front foot, Hook bobbing and weaving, but he can't evade. He may well be feeling the pace because having turned the tables on his man, he didn't take the opportunity to watch in the fact he may have taken a break in the first half of round six with a cracking cross through the middle before bringing it up. And Hook now, almost following his now, bobbing and weaving in front of his man. The right hand from Hook bounces off the gloves of Alexander Usyk. Now he walks his man down once, once again, but now here comes Alexander Usyk, unloading heavy leather. Hook covering up, trying to fire back with the right hand, but he's under significant pressure, and there's the bell. Outside the, of the Muhammad Ali trophy as Usyk again gets onto the front foot and then that salvo with a good left hand to the body tagged by a straight left hand straight through the guard there's the same shot once again Hook bobbing in the commentary position here and if the contest is a draw his scorecard will be brought into play contest in the bag as has happened in previous big fights perhaps most notably as Usyk gets through the cracking right hook that's a counter right hook though from the KG veteran, Captain Hook. But back comes Usyk. It's coming from Alexander Usyk. And success, and then a sneaking underhand left. Hook in real trouble, and the momentum of search from Usyk. Referee Robert Bird was on the spot and has taken a point away from Hook, who was missed by a country mile. Smelling how composed, looking for the openings. 
and he looks to break down the defences. Looking around this magnificent time of year to the boxing, that's a hard right hand to the body from Hook. Now, did that hurt Usyk? It's certainly inconvenient. The ninth round, right hand wasn't too far away, be it gloves or forearms or body on to launch a sneaky counter right hand like position. But it appears to me, as he's put under pressure, from some accurate punch picking from Alexander Usyk. Popping him out, Usyk waves him on contemptuously. Kid Hook remaining concentrated, big left hand bounces off the gloves of Hook. And perhaps we're seeing the difference here. Deep six professional contest. Marco Hook again, increasingly familiar posture in the neutral corner, but this second clapper out of the space of seven. <laughs> Round 10 then, a distance. Before that, it was nine more under Usyk, caused many of the punches in that combination to cannon off and in stark contrast. Oleg produced here by Alexander Usyk. Successful title defences. But he's on the receipt. He's way off the ropes, but only totters across the boxing ring to take up residence on the ropes on the far side of the ring, near Usyk's corner. He's looking to finish it here. Hook trying to hold on, but instead he's only covering up. Bobbing and weaving near the ropes. 